So good afternoon all. So software testing methodologies. In this we have six units. So first unit regarding introduction and flow graphs and path testing. Second unit we have so transaction flow testing and data flow testing. In unit three we are going to discuss about domain testing and paths, path products and regular expressions. In fourth unit, syntax testing, logic based testing. Fifth unit, we discuss about state, state graphs and transition testing and graph matrices and applications. Last unit, we discuss about so different software testing tools. So coming to course outcomes, so after completion of this course, you are able to do understand the basic testing procedures. So how you are going to do the testing for the software and you are going to be able to support in generating test cases and test, test suits and able to test the applications manually by applying different testing methods and automation tools and apply tools to resolve the problems in real time environment. So these are the course outcomes. After completion of this course, you are going to understand the basic testing procedure. What is the procedure you are going to follow to test a software and you are going to generate the test cases and test suits and able to test the applications manually by applying different testing methods what you learn in this course and by using some tools also automation tools also you are going to know you are going to write the test cases and supply tools to resolve the problems in real time environment so these two are the prescribed textbooks so boris uh, software testing techniques by boris beezer so dream tech second edition and the software testing yoga singh so cambridge so these two are your so prescribed textbooks so coming to today class we are going to discuss about the introduction in introduction we are going to discuss about the so purpose of testing and we discuss about dichotomies so purpose of testing is nothing but so why we are going to learn about the testing and why we are going to do the testing for the software applications and dichotomies so what is the meaning of the dichotomy means it's a uh, simply saying it's a contradictory or mutual exclusions of two groups Okay, so discuss these two topics in today class. So coming to first one. So why testing in last class also we discussed about the same topic, the purpose of testing. So why testing is needed? What is the purpose of the testing means? The purpose of testing is to show that a program has bugs and in another way, the purpose of testing is to show that the software works. That means here you are going to verify the you are going to verify the software and you are going to validate the software. So what is the testing means? So verification of functionality for confirmation against given specifications by execution of the software application. That means the software application is developed by the developer. Now the tester can test this software to verify the functionalities are working properly or not. Okay. So now, so what is the purpose of the testing means for SQA? You are going to give the, the software quality assurance. What is the quality of the software and QC? So QC means so quality check and verification and validation of the software application. You can verify that all the functionalities are working properly or not and you are going to validate the software application either the developed software application is so developed as per the so user requirements or not that we are called as a validation a test if you run a test it may be pass or it may be fail or it, uh, or it may get some bug or defect or fault okay that means if you run a test case on a processor we get we get so one of these three as output so one is pass 
if the test is pass then the functionality is okay if test is fail so if application functionality not okay if you get any bug or defect or fault then the deviation from expected functionality is not always obvious so what it means for example you write you write a software you write a program so now addition of two numbers now if i give write a test case that so 2 plus 3 equals to 5 now i give the input as a input 2 and 3 if i get the output 5 then it passes and the functionality is okay if i get the output as a 6 then it fails the application functionality not okay if i get any bug then deviation from expected functionality so expected functionality is i expect the 5 but we get the bug it's not always obvious sometimes we get the bugs okay so that is the purpose of testing so what is the purpose of the testing the purpose of the testing is to show that a program has bugs the purpose of testing is to show that the software does not work and the purpose of the testing is to catch the bugs to catch bugs so bugs are due to imperfect communication among programmers that means when uh, many programmers working on the same software this uh, software so because of this communication imperfect communication we get the bugs and statistics says about 3 bugs we get for every 100 statements so this is the statistics for every 100 statements so there may be we get so three bugs and so the purpose of testing is productivity related reasons so productivity related reasons is nothing but so insufficient effort in qa so insufficient effort in qa qa means quality assurance if the quality is less then there is a high rejection ratio that customer will reject your software if the customer will reject your software then higher rework you can uh, again you are going to work on the same project so that leads to higher net cost that means the purpose of the testing is productivity related reasons what is the productivity here the productivity is nothing but the quality of the software so insufficient effort in qa that leads to high rejection ratio that leads to higher rework that leads to higher cost net cost okay coming to statistics qa cost so quality assurance cost so 2% for consumer products and 80% for critical software that means for if you are developing a software that related to a consumer product that 2% is for so quality assurance cost if it is a critical software so 80% of that cost will be goes to quality assurance so why If the quality is improved automatically the productivity also improve okay so coming to next so goals for testing so primary goal of testing is for bug prevention the first one is bug prevention why salary we discussed in the last slide if you are working more on the software then the cost will be increased so the primary goal of the testing is so first you are going to prevent the bugs so prevent the bugs so bug prevented so rework effort will be saved okay that means when the starting stage only you are going to prevent the bugs you are assuming some bugs when you are writing the programs so automatically the rework effort is saved so that means bug reporting so debugging correction and retest so these will be reduced if it is not possible so testing much if it is not possible so testing much must reach its secondary goal of bug discovery that means so you are not preventing the bug then the secondary goal the secondary goal of is bug discovery you are going to discover the bug so good test design and test so clear diagnosis and easy bug correction 
so next one so test design thinking so test design thinking so from the specifications you are going to write the test specifications so first and then code so first you can understand the specification and write the speci uh, test specifications then you are going to so uh, write the spe uh, first you are going to write the test specifications then you are going to write the code so next so eliminate the bugs at every stage of sdlc in every stage of sdlc that means you are going to eliminate the bugs at every stage of sdlc sdlc is nothing but so software development life cycle if this fails if this fails so testing is to detect the remaining bugs so now so five phases in testers thinking so you are the writing the program as a tester you have you face five phases okay coming to phase 0 coming to phase 0 says no difference between debugging and testing what is the phase 0 the phase 0 is says so no difference between debugging and testing so today it's a barrier to good testing and quality software that means the in the phase 1 the tester says that there is no difference between debugging and testing so come so phase 1 so phase 1 says testing is to show that the software works in the phase 0 they are think that the testing and the debugging both are the same coming to phase 1 says testing is to show that the software works a failed test so a failed test shows software does not work even if many tests pass so object to not achievable what it means if you are writing so 10 test cases for a processor if the processor fails in one test case then also you say that software does not work even if many tests pass it passes so nine test cases it failed in only one test case then also our objective is not achieved so coming to phase 2 says software does not work so one failed test proves that so tests are to be redesigned to test corrected software but we don't know when to stop testing so the in coming to phase 2 so software does not work we understand that so based on the failed test case so one failed test proves that the software does not work so you can redesign the test case and you are going to do the testing one more time so tests are to be redesigned to test corrected software so but we don't know so when to stop testing so uh, this is the question we we got in we got at phase 2 so we are going to do the testing but we don't know so when to stop testing so phase 3 says so test for risk reduction we apply principles of statistical quality control our perception of the software quality changes when test passes or fails consequently the so perception of product risk reduces release the product when the risk is under a predetermined limit so coming to phase 4 a state of mind regarding so what testing can do and cannot do so what makes software testable so applying this knowledge reduces among of testing and testable software reduces effort testable software has less bugs than the code hard to test so cumulative goal of these all these phases the cumulative and complementary one leads to other okay that means the phase 0 is a complementary to phase 1 so phase 2 test alone will not show software works so use of statistical methods to test design to achieve good testing at accept uh, set acceptable risks so most testable software wants to be debugged must work must be hard to break so what it means we already we discuss five phases in phase 0 with phase 0 says no difference between debugging and testing phase 1 says 
testing is to show that the software works uh, the purpose of the testing is to show that the software works so phase 2 says software does not work some of the test cases will be failed so software does not work so we redesign the test cases and correct the software and in phase 2 we don't know so when to stop the testing so how we can determine that how we can know that here we are going to stop the test that we know in phase 3 so test for risk reduction we can apply the uh, principles of statistical quality control so based on these rules and semant uh, rules you are going to understand that uh, risk reduction in phase 4 a state of mind regarding so what testing can do cannot do so what makes software testable applying these knowledge reduces the amount of testing and the cumulative goal of all these phases is you are going to test the software the most testable software must be debugged must work must be hard to break and you are going to use the statistical methods to test design to achieve good testing at acceptable risk so that is a purpose of testing so testing and inspection so inspection is also called static testing okay so methods and purposes of testing and inspection are different but the objective is to catch and prevent different kinds of bugs here so methods and purpose of the testing and inspections are different but the objective is common the objective is to catch and prevent the uh, different kinds of bugs to prevent and catch most of the bugs we must review inspect read the code so do walkthroughs on the code and then do testing you can review the code you can inspect the code so read the code so do walk through on the code and again you are going to do the testing okay some important points are so test design after testing and correction redesign the test and test the redesign tests okay that is the test design so bug prevention so mix of various approaches depending on factors so cultures so development environment application so project size history so long ways so based on this you are going to uh, follow different approaches to prevent the bugs inspection methods so design style static analysis and languages having strong syntax so path verification other controls so design methodologies and development environment so all these factors you are going to use to find to uh, uh, are used to prevent the bugs